only thing I can think of is the the Grinch, you know, on that day my faith grew ten times or whatever, like his heart grew that much. Just from seeing, you know, that. My name is Scott Hansen. I'm Shalina. I go to Catalyst. I'm living proof Jesus saves. We know now God gave him a dream that morning. He was gonna die that day. Oh. He just, he knew it was God's will. And that's why I take comfort in. It's what my parents take comfort in. Uh, so I remember talking with him before he deployed and telling him, don't go to that training so then you won't have to go. And he lectured me. So I knew he wanted to be there. It's what he was passionate about. So, um, so he was 29 and he had a five-year-old son and a one-year-old little girl at the time. The insurgent was actually aiming for the medic. Um, and the medic dropped a cigarette and he bent down to get it just as the bullet went by and got my brother. You know, in my mind, he was always supposed to be here. He was supposed to help me with my parents. He was supposed to be here to see his kids grow up. I was supposed to be here to see my girls. God really made sure throughout everything. Um, there's so many stories of um, someone my mom worked with her that day that, uh, what did he say, that an angel fell and he knew. It was like the same time that my parents found out that my brother was killed. And just kind of more God's signs, if you will, of that he was here. Uh, when they went, they went and told my dad. And then my dad and the military went to get my mom as soon as they got on the property, all the lights, there was no power to the house. And then as soon as they got my mom and they left, all the power came back on. Many months after we lost him, I, I couldn't sleep because so I would have anxiety not knowing if he was okay. Where he was. And God gave me a dream. He um, allowed me to say goodbye to my brother and for my brother to tell me he was okay. And that I didn't have to worry about him anymore. November, I came to your parents' house and I walked in and I just see the expressions and I'm just like, I don't know what to say, I don't know what to do. I've never lost a sibling. Basically, just seeing your parents <clears throat> on the day of his funeral, the strength that I saw from those two <clears throat> was like, nothing I'd ever seen before. I mean, I grew up with a strong family, but they got up there and they told stories about him and they laughed. And I was just thinking to myself, how can they be up there, you know, without breaking down and just, it's gotta be the strength of someone stronger it's the hope we have in God, knowing that He's with God, and we're gonna see Him again. We're gonna see. We're gonna get to be in heaven with Him again. We have God's promise, and God loves us, and He, he loved my brother more than I loved him. And it was His time to go, and it's just holding on to that, holding on to God's word. I know that's what got my parents through. The Grinch, you know, on that day, my faith grew 10 times or whatever, like his heart grew that much just from seeing, yeah. you know, that.